Don't be ridiculous. The five biggest lies about gray hair. Are you ready, ladies? Let's get this beauty started. So you can't go gray overnight. I know that you can go to California and you can go in 14 hours and spending a lot of money, you can go gray within a day, but it's not really realistic for a lot of women. And you know, when I went gray in 2015, I basically just focused and I dug my heels in and I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. It's very uncomfortable. I definitely second guess myself, but it's a journey. And this is what's so beautiful about it. And I say this all the time and you can disagree, if, disagree with me if you want to, which is fine. Everybody has their own opinion, but the, the woman I was before I went gray, it's a completely different woman after I went gray. There was so much that went on with that journey. So you just can't go gray overnight and you, because basically you miss out on all of those things. Your confidence drops, you feel ugly, you feel unattractive, you, you get all of these messages and looks and stares and comments from strangers, families, friends, which are really inappropriate because basically you're wearing the hair, they're not wearing the hair, who cares? It's a hair color, you're choosing to wear it. So why does anyone else care? I, you know, it still floors me that women say, thing ab say things about my hair and it's always like the cliche things. Oh, you look so much older. Oh my gosh, I thought she was in her 70s, which, listen, thank you. I love the 70s decade. You know, there's all these things that people say thinking that they're like really gonna get you and it's like, hey, you can't stop me. That, that's why I love these shirts that really just kind of just say, I can say something and I don't have to say it. Gray hair, is an absolute journey. That's why it's hashtag gray hair journey, right? You're going through a journey. You're learning so much about yourself. You are a metamorphosing into the most powerful, the most fierce, bold, unapologetic woman. So this is one of the biggest lies that you can just go gray, like no big deal. Like, okay, it's an actual journey. You are taking yourself from point A what your, your whole life was, right? Whether you were redhead, blonde, brunette, whatever you were, and then you're going through, it's like going through the car wash, right? It's like all these different like stages, you know? Some some are a little bit easier, some you get smacked around a lot, you know? Wow, what a great analogy, right? And then you come out and you're like, oh my gosh, shiny, silver, beautiful, fearless woman. Plucking out your gray hair will result in three more coming up. You know that that this is a total lie. I mean, I don't know who made this up. It's so funny. Someone makes something up like this and it just catches on. And then we're told as you know, little girls and teenagers, and then we believe these things. So that's not going to happen. But I would encourage you not to pull out your gray hair. Just dye it instead because you don't want to damage the hair follicle because then you will have less hair. That is something that we don't want. We want to keep the integrity of our hair. If the gray hair that you see is sprouting up, just dye it. But you are not going to have three more gray hairs if you pluck one out. Stress causes gray hair. So there's no real merit to this claim. There are studies done. They, they do say a lot of different things, but it is not completely 100% proven that stress causes gray hair. There's lots of different things that happen. So the next time someone says, oh my gosh, you went gray because you're so stressed or you're such a stressful person, that is not true. Gray hair is hard to style. Now, I've done plenty of videos on this topic, and yes, my hair, I didn't expect it to be as high maintenance as it is being gray. And that was something that came as a surprise to me, but I had never gone gray, so how would I know? But it is not hard to style. If you have the right products, I show you tons and tons of different products, different oils, different pre-shampoos that I've recently showed you that really make a huge difference. You need to hydrate gray hair. So it loses its moisture. And then that's when you're gonna start seeing more frizz or wiry hair. If you treat your hair, if you do hair masks, if you put the time in, if you really seek out products that work with your hair type, whether it's thinner, whether it's thick, whether it's coarse, whether it's curly, that is going to be the biggest difference. But it's a complete lie that gray hair is hard to style. Going gray is the end of the world. Ladies, 
this is a complete lie. Now, you might think it's the end of the world when you first start going into your gray hair journey. You see the inch, two inches, three inches of gray roots and you are like, my life is over. But it's your perspective. What are you saying to yourself? Are you listening to other people? Are you listening to your husband, your friends, your family, your stranger, your dia, who knows? Who are you listening to? The only person that matters is you. What do you think? Do you think that you look unattractive with it? Okay, diet. There's no rule. There's no, oh my gosh, I started to go gray and I can't turn back. That's the beauty of it. So it's not the end of the world. It's not, oh my gosh, I'm so much older. No, actually it's not. If you reframe what gray hair is, it is a powerful move of just basically being free. So many women are tied to going to the salon and dyeing their hair. For me, I didn't, I, I don't know if people know this or not. I didn't set out to go gray. Like I didn't want to go gray. I didn't want to be gray. I was in my thirties. I'm like, what is happening to me? Like, I don't, I'm not going to do this. Like, oh my gosh, like I can't do this. Like what, what's happening? But I, but we all know the story. If you've been following me for a long time, which I don't have to repeat is that IVF and fighting and, and doing that for four years, I didn't have it in me to fight gray hair. I thought, who cares? It's a hair color. Honestly, like if it doesn't work, great. But I just wanted the reprieve of having to dye my hair every two, two weeks. I almost said two days. Every two weeks. I mean, it was a joke. I was like, I'm spending all this money. I'm spending like an hour, an hour and a half at the salon. And I look in the rear view mirror and I have a, a halo of gray roots. I just can't do it. So to me, it wasn't the end of the world. It, it was, this is the perspective, ladies. It was the beginning of a new world. Like, wow, like what's it gonna look like? And at some point, like, so this was the big gray stripe, right? So when I started looking in the mirror on this side, I was like, it's so white. I feel bad dying it. I feel like it's saying something to me. Like, I feel like my, my hair is saying, there's a story to tell. Like we, we, want, we want to be seen instead of covering it up with toxic dye. So I just said, fine. All right, well, we'll see what happens. I mean, if I don't like it, I'll just dye it. I'll dye it back. But I really enjoyed the fact that I didn't have to, I didn't have that pressure and that worry every time I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh God, here, it, here we go again. Like you gray roots, like I dye you and you turn a different color, like an orange brown. It's not even worth it. So it's not the end of the world. And I hope that you really, you know, understand that again, people always say in the comments and what have you, like gray hair is not for everyone. It makes people look old. Guess what? Gray hair isn't for everyone. I'm very, very transparent about that. In my book, I say the same thing. If you want to go gray, you're either in or you're out. That's it, it's very simple. It's not the end of the world. You have plenty of choices and guess what? If you're going gray and you're like, oh no, it's not for me, why not try a different hair color? I always wanted to be blonde. So going gray to me was like, oh, I'm not, you know, it's not dark, it's not blonde, but it's lighter, it's different, it's interesting. So maybe try out being blonde and see how that works. But guess what? That is the beauty of it. And I'm so happy that is a lie about gray hair. It is not the end of the world. So ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.